Hello YouTube, this is Brewmaster H coming at you with another beer review and World of Tanks gameplay. Today we have Barclays Peanut Butter Cup Porter by Uncle Bear's Brewery out of Phoenix. This is a 5.4% ABV American Porter with obviously some stuff added to it. So the aroma is all peanut butter. Appearance is a reddish brown color with very little head that dwindles quickly to a thin ring around the outside of the glass. Our flavor is almost exclusively peanut butter with just a hint of chocolate which is pretty normal for a porter and not much else. Our mouthfeel, it, this is a medium body beer that feels a little bit a little bit thinner than expected so it's, it's not quite as uh, heavy on the palate as a porter is usually. Overall, if we're comparing this to the only other chocolate peanut butter porter that I know of, which I reviewed in my very first video, this is, one is only a little below Purple Monkey Dishwasher. Yes, uh, that, that's the name. Remember that. Um, I think the body and slightly less complex favor let this down just enough that it's second to that one in my book, but I would definitely still drink more of this beer. The good news is I should be able to access it easily enough. <laughs> so, um, hope you guys like this review hope you can find it give it a go let's check out some gameplay hey guys we've got a t34 game for you today on mines let's find out what happens as a top tier heavy tank obviously it's my responsibility to try to tank some of this damage so this cromwell with a derp gun which is obviously the best way to run the cromwell will get out of my way i might be able to get over to where i want to go <laughs> Derp guns are fun, but Cromwell with a derp, whew, that seems like a bad life choice. So it looks like we sort of have the hill, but not really. Uh, we got a, a T-71, an LTTB, and a 1357F contesting against a 12-ton, and then a few mediums trying to help out. But, oop, yep, a Stritzwang M4257, that nice uh, tier 6 premium medium tank got all the way up there. I'm going to go over here and see if I can prevent any more of their baddies from getting up there. Oh, look at that. K3001D. Let's see how this RNG is going to treat me today. Is it going to abuse me? Abuse me. That's my favorite. Oh, here we go. We got first bounce and aim and shoot. And man, I'm lucky I didn't hit that FV. He just rolled right out in front of my gun. I almost took his tracks. Oh, ISU. Let's see if we can get a shot into him. Some odd reason it's saying I can't penetrate with 200 and some odd penetration. Look at that. I just tracked him. ISU-122S, ISU it's Russian armor. So, you know, what are we, we going to say? It's got a little bit of bias there. All right, let's see here, VK. Oh, not fully aimed, not fully aimed. Do we have a shot? We do. There's half his hit points gone. We like that. And another bounce from the SU-101. Tiger misses us. And as we notice, the SU-100Y is coming down the 8 line. Oh, we're going to try to put down that VK, but we bounced. We didn't even scratch that VK. Best armor ever at tier 6. Wait, what? Yeah, I can't believe that bounced. But it must have been just the right mix of angling and whatnot. Oh, ISU, come on. Come on. Hey, little Betty. Nope, he's pulling behind the rock, so let's shoot one of these guys in the face. Here, oh, there we go. Tiger needs it. So, SU-100Y is still kind of uncontested. Well, he's got the Borsig to slow him down and, and keep him spotted with our lights. Uh oh, super pushing. Let's hope he's not very good or smart or any of that. Track, there we go. Someone shoot him. Hey, he's tracked. Shoot him. Thank you. And bouncing. Ooh, I bounced one off the side of my turret from the VK. <laughs> Let's see if I can kill this tiger. Ooh, I, I know, I gave him the side. Here we go, gotta clear out one of those sides. All right, gotta keep this guy bouncing and spotting damage, all that spotting damage and some bounces and some actual damage. I like it, it's pretty good. So we're gonna move around this way. We're gonna hope, oh, wait, can we, ooh, all right, let's see if we can get a shot in. Nope, nope, all right, he's pulling back again and this thing aims for like 16, weeks so oh there we go i gave the su oh man i must have gotten hit by both those chuckleheads no i bounced the dicker max su 101 369 damage does that gun usually roll that high because that's a little insanely high for that gun i'm pretty sure that's like all of the rolls but 
hit by artillery. Kind of annoyed. I'm going to go help with this side, though. We can ignore that side because they don't really matter right now. Our 1357 is giving it to the MT-25, and there he goes. The SU-100Y. Oop, we can't go behind this rock. But the SU-100Y is over here. I'm going to auto-aim. He's aimed somewhere else, and surprise! Hey, fella. Apparently, my gun depression is not working. Oh, pulled back behind the rock just in time and given someone else the opportunity to shoot him because he was aiming at me. Love it. Teamwork. I love it when the when a plan actually comes together. Wait, I'm not I'm not what's his name in the AT. Hannibal. So our team is going after that VK, LTTB, and the 1357 help put him down. 141 is spotted, VK 3001D is spotted in the middle, and he's getting wrecked once again by that 1357. I'm coming over here to see if I can mess up that SU-101's day. Alright, pull forward, pull forward, back up into my line of fire. Yeah, there we go. Bye-bye. So we've only got two, two TDs left, one artillery left, and a light tank that hasn't been spotted yet. And so let's see here. Oh, there's the WZ-132. What is that guy doing? That old whiskey Zulu. Hey, Sonny. Come here, you. Oh, gotta get out behind. Here we go. Come on. Aim, aim. <laughs> Stole the kill. Very nice. Oh. They want American to get the top gun. I I didn't even see that, I don't think, in the actual game. Oh, let's see. No, no shot. No shot. Come back forward. I promise. I'll be gentle. Alright, so we can't get past this rock without really, ex ex you know, allowing our side to get shown. Oh, SU-101 got a little splash damage. Oh, he's running, he's running. Light tanks up his butt. There we go. And ISU and artillery are the last two. I'm going to try to come down off this hill. Look at this. Watch this pro move, pro driving tip. Use the slope to your advantage. Do not, do not get yourself into trouble because you track yourself and can't do any more damage the rest of the game because you're trying to re repair your tracks. So there's the M44. Oh, someone's, yep, it looks like the 1357 has taken him out. He's got his top gun. I've got three kills. I'm looking for my fourth. I really want that ISU because he's annoying. Sergeant Forch, which I'm wondering if he's trying to be like Sir Fosh, but like Sergeant Fosh, Sergeant Forch, whatever. So the Borsig is up here. He doesn't really have the gun depression or the armor to deal with this guy properly, although he definitely could do some damage. There we go. Nice shot in. And I took some of that spotting damage. And that's the game. So let's go take a look at the stats. There you have it, guys. Nice little ace tanker. High caliber. Quite a bit of spotting and whatnot. Look at all that. I love it when I've got more than half the enemy team in my damage slash spotting slash bounced window. That's always good. So 3,193 damage done. Barely cleared our 1357. That guy, that guy was doing a lot of really good work. He got his top gun and he did a fantastic job. Um, and that little that little gun is just ridiculous. But went through, kicked their butts. Top on damage done. Second on XP earned to that 1357. As we can see, I did shoot 12 times. Um, all 12 hit, but only 9 penned because apparently 250 some odd pen or 240 some odd pen is just not enough to pen lower tier tanks, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, 3200 damage, like I said. I did take 10 hits, but only 3 penetrated, which was awesome. Blocked 1900 damage. Um, damaged 8. Destroyed three, so pretty good, and almost 2,000 assistance damage for spotting, so that was awesome. 64,000 credits of uh, profit and 3,800 XP. Nice little daily double. Um, you know, gotta love playing those premium tanks. So, if you guys uh, enjoyed it, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.